39. Provocation, dynamism, liberation, obstruction, and tension. Welcome to this tapping on the 39. My name is Jesse Herman, and I'm so pleased to be offering this tapping to you, moving from the energies of obstruction through to liberation. In the Gene Keys, the 39th key follows the path from its shadow of provocation through the creative energy of dynamism and finally into the city of liberation. In the I Ching and the human design system, this number holds the energy of obstruction. When it appears in a reading, a transit, or in your chart, you can be sure that you're about to face some form of adversity and be challenged to seek wisdom and aid, opening yourself to the changes that the challenges are tempting you into. Today, we'll be tapping into and tapping on the wisdom of the 39. Contemplating as we go, heading towards emotional freedom on any of the related energies around this frequency. If this is the first time that you're tapping with me, welcome. Just follow along with the video as I tap on different meridian points of the body. By tapping on these points while repeating certain affirmations and concepts, you're training your subconscious mind and your emotional body to release energies that are blocked or stagnant on the issue that you're tapping on. So just before we start, make sure that you're well hydrated, check in that you're comfortable, check in with your body and your position, take a few deep breaths and see how you're feeling. I want you to now ask yourself and respond honestly to the following questions, okay? So on a scale of zero to 10, with zero being not at all and 10 being absolutely and completely, how liberated do you feel right now? How trigger free do you feel how able are you to be free of provocation great so once you have your score we're going to get started and set up the tapping okay great so when you're ready we're going to start tapping on the side of the hand here on the karate chop point and just repeat after me the things that i'm about to say either out loud or in your mind while you're tapping on this point okay let's go even though I'm sometimes triggered by what happens around me, I choose to love and accept myself. Even though I'm reactive to situations that arise and sometimes I don't feel aligned with those reactions, I choose to love and honor myself. Even though I sometimes take actions to provoke a certain reaction in others or I'm provoked myself, I choose to love and forgive myself. Even though sometimes I feel blocked, stagnant, obstructed, or feel trapped, I choose to love and accept myself. Even though I sometimes let my buttons get pushed or take things personally or get angry with the world and others or think I'm a victim to circumstance or forget how powerful I am or forget how free I am, I choose to love, honor, accept, and forgive myself and anyone else that has contributed to me believing that this is the best energy for me to find myself in. Okay. So, how does that feel? Now we're gonna get into the main tapping sequence. Great, so when you're ready, just follow along, beginning the main tapping sequence for the 39 on the top of the head. I am free of provocation. I know that when I'm triggered, I have the grace to be able to choose my responses. I'm able to process my reactions in a healthy way. I'm the chooser of my state of being. I'm triggerless and trigger free. I respond with compassion when people are trying to push my buttons. And I understand that my reactions come from within and are never truly created externally. 
I'm grateful to be shown where I may have triggers in order to be able to heal them. And no one has any power over how I act, react, or respond, except for me. I choose to speak, act, and live in a state of nonviolence. I am the embodiment of peace. I approach others with compassion and tenderness. And I know that everyone is doing their best. I know that nothing is personal. When I'm provoked emotionally, I'm able to see how valuable a learning moment it is that I'm being offered. I use my voice and speak with kindness. I'm aware that the tone of my voice carries a frequency far stronger and more powerful than my words. Energy, inspiration, and creativity flow through me easily. I release the shadow of provocation and obstruction now. I use my passion to create in the world. I am dynamic. I am creative. I am playful. I am energy in motion. I have the ability to act. I do what I love in life. And I have an abundance of creative energy flowing to me at all times. I unleash a tidal wave of creativity everywhere I go. I'm a vessel for the gift of dynamism. The more creative that I am, the more energy becomes available to me. And my dynamism is contagious. Instead of provoking people into their transformations, I inspire them with my example. I thrive on positive attention. And I'm delicate with the wounds of the people around me. I express my inner beauty readily and easily. And I use my anger to expose hidden fears and soothe myself through those fears. I create more and more possibilities for myself and for others. I'm a warrior. I act in the highest good of all. I live for a higher cause. And if I provoke, I provoke creativity and freedom in others. I'm able to liberate myself and others. I am free, I am liberated, and I am my true being. I'm a grand force of love. My love and creativity have the potential to impact and shift everyone around me. I am powerful. I fight for love. It delights me to see how liberated and free people are when they're in my light. I am my highest version. I always listen to my own inner guidance. I am liberation, in body, mind, and spirit. Take a deep breath and release. Do you feel that? Okay, so now is the time to feel back into yourself again and check in with those same questions that we had before the tapping and rate them again on a scale of zero to 10 with how you feel right now. How liberated do you feel right now? And how trigger-free do you feel? Hmm? And how personally do you take the events that happen in your life or not personally do you take them? So check in with your feelings and score yourself and see if anything's changed since the beginning of the practice for you. You can repeat this tapping as often as you like or daily until you see a shift in the aspects of your life that are related to this energy 
and you can continue to contemplate B39 with your I Ching or Gene Keys or Human Design System. So if you have this number in your chart like I do, you're gonna definitely, definitely benefit from this work that you're doing and feel less of a victim to your swinging emotions and to the circumstances around you that would normally provoke you or trigger you or put you into a state of flux. Remember that you are the only one who has the ultimate say about how you feel and nothing external can sway or knock you out of your peace unless you choose to let it. Okay. Um, the programming partner of the 39 is the 38 and that is where you'll move from the energy of struggle through perseverance and into honor. So learning to tap on the 38 will help you to understand that while there is struggle in life, when it becomes a struggle for something meaningful, it is created or transformed into an absolutely wonderful and honorable path to take. Make sure that you go ahead and check out the tapping on the 38 to gain emotional freedom on that energy as well. They're very intricately linked. And so if you can gain emotional freedom on the 39 and the 38, you have a great package there of liberated energies for yourself. The 55, when combined with the 39, makes up the other half of the channel of emoting in the human design system. So if you have this channel or only the 39 and are in a transit or the presence of someone with the 55, you're gonna be a pretty moody bunny, all right? But the upside of that is that you are someone who's deeply linked with the energies of romance and love and passion. So that's really wonderful. And the other upside is that your moodiness will give you the opportunity to understand, accept, and transcend emotions in a way that many other people can't. So tap through the energies that come with the 55 from the energy of victimization through freedom and then into deeper freedom um, with my video on the 55. I would like to thank you so much for joining and tuning in today. We are all blessed by the work that you're doing on yourself and very, very grateful for your contribution to humanity. If you've enjoyed this tapping, please make sure to check out all of the other tappings in this series and the ones that relate to your chart, but not only the ones that are related to the transits that are currently active in the field. And I hope to tap again with you very soon. Much love.